What? You mean we have to work together? Yeah, it's often like that in different IT groups. The IT organizations are often very much siloed around technology. You've got the server people working on the servers. You've got the storage folks, you know, concerned with disk drives and all that other stuff. You've got security people who are just trying to keep everybody from doing work. Well, not really. The security folks have a hard job. But ultimately, all these different groups are really trying to, to focus on their own individual area. And when we start thinking about transitioning to cloud, the idea is to move IT away from focusing on managing devices into actually managing services across these silos. And ultimately, this is what cloud technologies allow from an organizational perspective, is getting these different groups together and, and ultimately having them work on, working on the same, same page. Traditional IT service delivery is often very slow and manual, manual and error prone. We talked before about the waterfall approach where everything was very systematic, it was sequential. Well, in a lot of cases, this is how IT is often delivered. You got your requirements, you, you know, then you architect the solution itself, you develop the solution or you develop a piece of software, you do QA testing, and then you throw it over to the operational group. So if you actually are doing any type of development, any software development with your organization, this is a very common issue. The Developers will write a piece of software, they'll, they'll test it in their own environments, and then they'll throw it over to the ops folks and say, look, it's your problem now. Right? So that's the kind of challenge that, in a lot of cases, really slows down the process. Applications, instead of being able to be deployed quickly, can take weeks, months, years to be able to get out. And that's where the concept of DevOps comes into play. And we'll get into that here in a second. But DevOps is something that really tries to tie that development aspect into the operations side and really create a, a combined group that you know, is, is pretty much you know, designed to be able to work together and to be able to solve a lot of these problems. One great book I recommend you guys looking at is one that was written by Gene Kim. He's the author of The Phoenix Project. And he has a great quote, and basically it goes like this. DevOps is ultimately a set of cultural norms and technical practices that enable the fast flow of work from development through test through operations while pres preserving world-class reliability. So you're not giving up the reliability of the system by being able to create a faster mechanism to be able to get from the development side into operations. So what is DevOps? DevOps is all about utilizing those lean concepts we talked about before, which lean is all about getting waste out of the organization. You know, how do I minimize the amount of busy work that we have? So it leverages lean and agile techniques to combine development and operations together. So they really have a shared fate type scenario. It's also a real-time business enabler. So if you think about some of the businesses out there that are currently you know, delivering services like Facebook or you know, Amazon or any of those that have those, an application which is updated in some cases you know, two to three times a day, they simply could not operate unless they, unless they had a DevOps environment because that allows them to be able to then make those kind of changes and move as quickly as they do. So ultimately, the DevOps approach can be you know, best understood by the, by the uh, acronym COMS. And this really gets into the core aspects of what DevOps means. So first and foremost, it starts with culture. Culture is probably the most difficult piece to be able to get right, because that is really where you change you know, the flavor of the organization. You know, so if you've got a culture of inclusion, you get a culture of everybody working together, great. You're already on a great start. But in a lot of cases, as we mentioned before, in some of these environments, you know, the organization is very much siloed into their own little uh, competency areas. So trying to bust down that, that environment is, is kind of difficult. And that's one of the things that, um, you know, DevOps really helps to try to address. In addition, it's also about automation. So if we're talking about a real-time business, in order to be able to move quickly, the best way to do it is to automate repetitive tasks. And being able to move, um, you know, at that kind of speed, leveraging automation is one of the key ways of, of making it happen. In addition, it's all about lean, which we talked about that one before. It's about reducing waste. It's that, it's that approach from the business down of being able to have the most efficient organization possible. It's about having metrics to be able to identify what's going on in the environment. How's my application performing? When I move it over to operations, are users happy? Is the performance where it should be? And then, of course, sharing between the different groups. It is a shared fate environment. The de developers and the operations folks, they, they're working hand in hand. It's not two separate groups.